So, a local bank uh, actually reached out to Black Dog Salvage for a custom conference table. And then so they reached out to us to do the metal base. So it's a pretty cool design. Here's the logo. This is obviously not a table base. This is just a square with a logo in it. Yeah. But we are making this pretty wild sort of double X uh, table base. <laughs> Uh, where the legs are two by four tubes and they come out of this sort of center cubic section. So if you look here, Spike's got a rendering of it. You can see from the side view, it looks like an X and from the top view, it looks like an X. So you have this sort of almost three dimensional starburst pattern of the legs come out. And then we'll have these rolled three quarter inch tube sort of braces in between top and bottom legs and left and right legs. Probably not the ones against the floor just because it'd be hard to clean, but the up and down and then at the top. And so there's a lot of CNC plasma uh, use here. We're cutting out the company's logos on these sheets, these 3 16 sheets that'll go on the side of the central cube. And then we're using the plasma cutter to make a bunch of mounting plates uh, like that, which when the base is done, Black Dog can use these plates and all these holes to screw on this giant live edge wooden top that will go, go on the table. Uh, so Spike has spent a day or two getting everything ready for us. We've got cut lists. We've got, he's got all the plasma stuff literally about to cut right now. We probably won't start on it until next week, but at least you can get some panels cut and get some headway. Yeah, everything should be done. So by the time I'm done today, you guys will have all of the parts except for the cut two by fours and three quarter inch tubing. I think this will go together pretty quick. What could, uh, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> On this episode of Lift Dark Builds, we build a giant bank conference table out of some heavy metal. Let's get it. Fight golf you. <laughs> Wait, no, come back. Come back. I don't know how to weld. <laughs> Everything used to be printed here. I got photos, or uh, excuse me, PDFs of all of the parts that make up this table base. And I was also given a CAD file from the designer. In a sense. Very nice, very helpful. So what this laid out was, here's the overall drawing, and then they have all the pieces which made up this PDF list. So what I have to do now is go through and grab each piece, make sure that it's ready for the plasma cutting. It's a little bit of cleaning up, making sure that there's no duplicate lines, there's solid rectangles or joined set of lines. And then another thing that I have to think about are what we're gonna be using for fasteners. So it's spec'd out for three ace inch uh, fasteners. And if remember a short die we did a while ago, there's a taper in all these holes. So what they sent me were three ace inch holes. So I had to go through and make them a 16th inch bigger. Not a big deal, but it's a small thing that can really go a long way if I didn't catch that and then they had to draw out holes. Drilling metal is, you know, time consuming, but if you try to draw a hole that's been plasma cut, it's even harder because the plasma cutter actually hardens the inside of that hole. Mm. So a small thing, but an important thing in the long run of how long it takes to do these things. And then I had to make sure that the logo, I had to make a, a vectorized image of the logo, make sure it's all centered. I go through and double check it about 18 times. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do it one more time when we stop filming here, just to make sure it's all good. And then I lay it out on plates for the plasma cutter. So we're using two different materials, or I'll be using two different materials, 3 16th plate and quarter inch. And this is a 3 16th plate. I wanna use as little material as possible, so I have to make sure it's all condensed. That's nice and easy because they're all rectangles. And then I'll have the other plate, which looks like this. Mm. These are all the mounting plates, which are a little bit harder to nest in nicely, so we're gonna have a little bit of wasted material, but not okay. bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that's my process. I go to the plasma cutter, make sure I have the right head on, line it all up, and then it does all the hard work. Hey. Yeah. And then they have to do all the welding. I'm not welding, right? <laughs> yeah. Walker, tell me I don't have to weld. Yeah, you said it's all on you, so I... <laughs> <laughs> because we're doing uh, signage, like we're, you know, this is the outside, we have to do nice cut logo. We're gonna use a brand new head for the, the cutter. And I pulled out of our very fancy <laughs> 3D printed uh, organizer. Uh-huh. Close the drawer, did anything fall out? No. Oh, no, look at well that. Done. I hope I did it right.
right, so now what I'm gonna do is since we're doing cuts that aren't gonna be seen, I'm gonna use a slightly older tip. Because mm. it's nice to have a fresh tip for, for, for that one. Sensitive stuff. Oh, I don't know if we should put that in the video or not. <laughs> oh, this old thing, throw on the old one. Mm. Let's go old. So I gotta go reset that thing, of course. Anytime you take anything off, it says air, which is probably a good thing. Yeah. Uh, and it turns out settings matter. Yesterday I tried to run a 45 amp program on a fine cut tip and that did not go well. <laughs> the, the, it was like this far off. Oh and my the, God. The arc was like huge. It was, was kind of cool to that watch. That is kind of cool. But uh, I was like, what happened? I don't know what happened. It was like, oh, settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See where it says fine cut? That's what you want. We're starting to cut metal for a big table job. That might be a little. So let's get a little saw. <laughs> hey, but it's the saw. Woo, kickback. <laughs> On camera. Cool. Let her spin down. How's the blade doing? I'm hanging strong. They should just put everything on. <laughs> Mild steel, aluminum, wood, and no plastic. stainless. Keep your stainless away from here. <laughs> That's right. Almost. Just a, a smidge will do it. So Aaron has brought in his uh, evolution saw, which is a... Uh, so, <laughs> so this is the second evolution saw I used on this job so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turns out when you go thick wall, you need big, t big, uh, here. Or it's just easier to bring the saw to the metal than the metal to the saw. Yeah, well, when the metal is quarter inch wall, two by four tubing. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah, that's the move. Uh, so there's four, it's four X's really made from these two by fours and this little saw unassuming little saw is slicing away very this. difficult angle yeah no kidding we're cutting them like this because essentially that one cut though it was hard was essentially two cuts right right so it it's sort of to use your phrase the juice the juice is worth the squeeze on that one yes it was uh it looks great but i'm gonna clean these up use one of those as a guide yeah, you, let me you deburr it real yeah, quick okay. so it's precise. Aaron finally blew the carbide teeth off the uh, the Evolution saw blade. Literally right after we talked about how great it was, uh -huh. durable they were. My prevailing theory would be that the saw blade got hot enough to bring the uh, solder holding the carbide tooth onto the blade to its melting point, upon which the teeth left the chat. <laughs> so, uh... I may have felt a couple of those in my face. Aaron took his a daily lunch break at Harbor Freight. <laughs> oh, dear. Dude, this is wrong size Harbor. No! Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping to ah! figure it out. I, this the reason I asked wait, is because I was fairly wait, 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 wait. I was fairly certain evolution would do something like that. Those bastards, because they're proud of their ship and they don't want you putting Harbor Freight blades on their fancy saw. Well, if it's good enough for Diablo. Now, what I've seen happen in the past, if you break this diamond out of here, it might fit around that round arbor. If I blow this diamond piece out of here, do you think they'd still uh, take it back? No. Because what I think might be possible is that this, that circle fits neatly against the four edges of this diamond once I pulled it. But I could measure that. I, say, I feel like there's a way we could probably figure that out. <laughs> I don't know, man. It looks pretty close. Because obviously that's for a worm drive saw, you know, the diamond 
arbor that you can mm -hmm. break out. I've definitely seen that before. Wait, did, would these fit on our Bosch, the one you just pulled out? They would. As um, they are? Yes, but... And they, do, but they spin faster. That's my understanding. Yeah, what is this spin? 3,700 RPM. If it's more than 4,000, it's probably a bad idea. Bosch CS10 circular saw is... It's 5,600 RPM. That's a little, a little, a little high. fast. <laughs> you want to use the calipers for that? <laughs> Yeah, what did I say? 0.82 versus 0.79. It's about a, about a 3,000 difference. <laughs> it's got some wobble to it. Either I'm delusional and... <laughs> <laughs> There's no ore. <laughs> uh, we got a piece of test metal. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Check It Out. I don't know, dude. It's kind of cutting like butter. Great. I'm ready, Sender. It's a little jumpy, but I oh, mean, that's great. That blasted through there. That's perfect. Fucking send it. Ooh, I mean, freaking send, send it. it. <laughs> Okay, so these are the tops then. Correct. The upper Correct. upper legs. And these are the snub nose ones here. What is putting a plate Actually, in a view, though? You're right. In here. These don't need caps. The right. bottom ones the bottom do. Ones do. Never mind. You're right. And honestly, this if the, all that would happen if these weren't as long, mm -hmm. that these plates would move in just a sure. minuscule yeah, yeah. amount. Yeah. So I actually think it's probably more important just to make them all the same. The same, yeah, I agree. And then then they'll all be the same. If we, and make, then if we make them all the same. This interface here, that's just straight bolts? Yeah, yeah. You weld, we weld the legs to these mm -hmm. here, and then these get Bolt bolted right on. to those. So it, this the central box is made up of these channels mm -hmm. and these panels, allegedly. Yeah. What? These are supposed to be is to ball. Because the waste pipe has it drawn now, which is fine. And then the leg plate gets bolted here. I don't know why this wouldn't be the same width as this. Yeah. Of course, they spec out every single plate. So, like, other than this, right. there's a separate DXF for every one of these. So, so it can't be wrong, could it? People are infallible. In any case, this is this is great. I think we're on. It's going. I think it's going great. Yeah, and especially with our feet, we have room. What I was trying to kind of visualize is what that's going to do. I know we did off the top and bottom lawnmower material removal. But if we're shorter there, theoretically, which we are, we can just compensate by moving that up. Yeah, I think that where these slightly. weld to here, uh -huh. we could move that a little bit. Uh, yeah. Because this hole is not the same. Like how much? Yeah, you got a lot. We've got easily three quarters of an inch of bias before the hole even goes off. And even more if we account for the thickness of the tube. Right. There they are. We're just, going. Just need to make a match. Um, because the two, the two going up, like there's two, two here and two here. The four come to a sort of a node. Personally, I think when we assemble this, we do this middle box first and get that top plate on there, and then everything has to be based off of that. And then and literally lay some a, giant straight edges, right, agree, clamp agree, these agree. there, and then raise yeah, them to match, agreed. like establish our zero point and then just bring, the table will support these so those can fall. And then we make a ceiling, so to speak, and bring those up. That's a good plan. I like, I like working in, in abstract 3D. That's why I bought that laser. For this type mm -hmm. of thing, when you're like planning shit out in just like 3D space, I need a flat plane at X height, you know, just think. All right, you want me to switch my focus to making those four the same? or carry through cutting those into our legs. 
I will work on these. Uh -huh. If you, you're on a roll, yep. I think you I'll want keep, to stick on that. For sure. I'll clean these up and then keep going here because I think once you have these cut, we should probably make that center box. Right, right, right. Because that's pretty yeah, straightforward yeah. Yeah. and everything comes off of that. Fucking, we're metal workers, man. Plans. Working metal. Working in the metal shop. Metal work. R us. Yeah, that's, those are flipping unpleasant cuts to make. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, those are long. Yeah. Well, these are all prepped. All the uppers are completely weld ready. These, now I just gotta sync them up like I did before. Looks like you did better on these. I'm afraid difference. <laughs> the Hercules difference. <laughs> Tough tools at half, half price. That's Vivor. Oh. <laughs> You got the wrong Fivor, yeah. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, you got the Fivor for the Vivor. <laughs> Another day, we could have this whole thing pretty much assembled. Because once we miter here... At gear, some point, I want a super cut of just, yeah. like, the past year of Tay saying, just another day on this, yeah. and we got yeah, it. Yeah, well, I think in the next few hours, yeah. <laughs> we could. And that would That's be That's our funny. end of year recap. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. No, I, I agree with you entirely. Because I, I work fast. Because once I get in a rhythm, I'm just like, set it up, knock it out, set it Because like now in my head, I like know how long that took. I don't know how long that took because I wasn't doing it, but it's done now anyway. Right, right. Those are all literally what ready to weld. I mean, that method you have is really helpful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if those are cut and those are all prepped, it's, it's we have a, a record yeah. set now, you mm -hmm. know, that we just tacked together. It's probably going to take more than a day. <laughs> Now, these are the lowers, so these get notched. Correct. And capped. Yeah, that's definitely longer than a day. Absolutely. What were you thinking? You <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> this guy, his unrealistic oh, timelines. Oh, he's running his mouth. <laughs> All right. I don't want to work anymore. This feels like a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cut more metal. <laughs> yeah. I want to cut metal right up till Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it. Making a box now on this, um, kind of getting these two panels, and everything is very heavy on yeah. this. Everything's quarter inch, so um, it gets substantial very quickly. But basically, um, these are the sides. We've got two of these structures on here. Welded those plates on there. Be another one right here. Um, I'm gonna drill and tap uh, so we can bolt on the. Uh, front faces with the actual logos on there. Um, the X's. Yeah, and that'll uh, allow us to take it apart and move it. I can't believe so. Just putting big pieces of metal together. Or, um, could do a little dry fit, but I'm gonna start on this one and kind of do from the inside out. Right. So one more day of work. Yeah, no, it just, it's, uh, yeah. it's easy breezy. We'll yeah. be done with it today. <laughs>
Now I have a song that we just made up stuck in my head. <laughs> in the Sea Org, we fuck each other. <laughs> What do you say, calm? I am calm. It's like a guy star on television. <laughs> Sounds like a TV. Fuck, bunny coming to life. He doesn't even grab some of these. Fuck, whoops, bunny. <laughs> it's like a big thing you see in Fallout. Yeah. Whenever I ask Aaron to do, help me with something, I gotta allow for time for him to set his canvas down. <laughs> He's a well hydrated boy. There you go. He's yeah. probably the best about hydration of all of us. Push down, I gotta get over that. Okay. Alright. Okay, just a push. Now, that's all this stuff going on. Going back to my weightlifting thing, I need to work on Tay's deadlifting for him. Dude, my back is that. <laughs> yeah. See this. There you go. There it is. Yeah. I know we've said it a lot, you don't want to lift only with your back. <laughs> Good. All four of us could decapitate ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> this is a very dangerous <laughs> table. Just every one of us is right to the jugular. That's a neat thing. Now, is it square? Go from corner to corner. I want to see what are the chances? Yeah, it was tough. 150 and a half ish. Outside? Yeah. yeah. 150 and five eighths. That's a half ish. That's a half, half ish. Half ish. Half ish. Half ish. Oh, yeah, now look at it. Oh, look, oh it's perfect. God. You guys are so good. First try. That's a beaut. If that's wrong, then our table's. <laughs> Not left. This <laughs> way, man. Wednesday, five o'clock. That's good. That's a good stopping point. I mean, you have just the last four legs put on and yeah. the top plates, but yeah, then it's just garnish, man. So you'll be done tomorrow. Yeah, dude. We'll be doing my lunch tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was him that time. Yeah, that was. <laughs> it just keeps happening to air. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Aaron was moving a little slow. I feel like shit. Yeah. yeah. We've all been a little sickly this week. Hey, thanks for hanging with me today. Oh. oh, this might lift your spirits a little bit. Tomorrow is the last day. So everybody be on their best behavior. The last day to earn egg points for the month of November. Oh. So far, Tay and Aaron are in the lead. Tay, tied. I went and did a free warranty repair today. Does that get an egg point? Actually, yeah. Damn it. I was gonna do like a lot tomorrow. I was gonna bring <laughs> breakfast, I was gonna bring lunch, I was gonna bring foot rubs. <laughs> I mean, that could be, that could be five yeah, egg I mean, points right there. Want it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want that egg. <laughs> Aaron stayed here even though he felt like that. I feel like that's an egg point. That is an egg point. <laughs> God damn it. Man, there, I'm anyway. getting left in the dust. <laughs> Walker, you continue to show up. I mean, I feel like everybody should get an egg point for continuing to show up <laughs> this week, despite, well, wait, you were healthy. Yeah, and I still showed up with you <laughs> infested mongrels around me. <laughs> good point, good point. Good point. All right, everybody gets an attendance. Everybody gets an attendance take point. There's no way I'm still sick by Friday. <laughs> Dude, there's no <laughs> way. There's no it just way. keeps sticking. I was sick once, and now I feel like I got a different sick, and now yeah. I'm... Dude, I'm, I'm so vaccinated right now. <laughs> you and me got hit back to back. Yeah. Damn, that's satisfying, though. Yeah. 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 Looking across that. Something new under the sun. Mm. You can't take back some things you already done, done. No. You blame things that you do on somebody else. Mm. No. But they all see, but they all see is you need help. Don't change. You waste all of your time. Cover 
Lining up your own tracks Spend all your days running away You gotta watch your back And that's the past You spend so much of your life scheming And trying to get over Got you wondering why you come around All you get is cold show Uh, yeah, oh, you try so hard uh, to cover up your games. You try so hard, uh, hoping that one day something's gonna change. Yeah, so Aaron finished the uh, leggies. Those are great. So this is the surface that'll be against the ground, and these plates had holes punched in them by the plasma. So I got these weld-on bosses from McMaster. And uh, so they're just steel, half-inch thread, and then these are the adjustable feet. These are the adjustable feet, just some plastic non-marring bottom, and then a half by 13 threaded stock, and then this here. So I'm gonna weld this in that hole, and then we can- Adjustable feet. Thread in our adjustable feet. So uh, Aaron went to go run an errand. <laughs> errand. So I'm gonna prep these holes and weld these bosses in. Well, then we need to miter the backside of all four of these legs, and then they will mount to here. And then that's the main structure done. And then we just weld on all of our mounting plates. Two, a plate goes here, a plate goes there on the other side, and then two long plates go here. Those all have holes in them to screw the giant wood top. There's a 16 foot by six foot, three inch poplar wooden top going on this thing. That 16 foot by six top is only made of two different pieces of wood. Oh my God. Is this, is this a staying raw metal finish or is it getting? No, they're gonna powder coat it several different colors. I would imagine a combination of black and red because that's, that's Ridgeview's it. logo. Spike cut some, uh, cut some caps. But actually, these are gonna be welded to the bottom mm -hmm. as well to achieve the same thing. Right so that leveling feet can be on the all uh, four of these yeah. legs too. So actually the next thing, the only thing I can do next without Aaron it's is well take these off and flip the base and weld these on. Mm. That way they're all the same, they all have the pads on. Right. So that when we go back to this point, it'll all be at the same, you know, this pad will be touching the ground right. and these will have the pads on touching the ground. Right. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use our Vivor a chain hoist. Link in the description. Linky in the description. Yep. And then a, a strap and just, cause I'm by myself. Ridgeview Bank, big old table. 
Uh, we're really going to try to finish 80 to 90 percent of the raw fabrication today. Uh, we've got the lower legs made up and they're all ground down and smoothed out. And this is where the leveling feet will go. And we've got, I think I showed you this already, but we've got these threaded bosses and the feet. So those will get welded in like that. So I'm going to finish this weld here. The upper leg, upper supports will be done. We've got the miters done here, the 12 degree miters on these legs here. So then we're going to offer them up to the base just like we did before. We've got our stops in place still from when we did that the first time. Uh, so then we'll do the compound miter by hand with a uh, cutoff wheel just because it's easier. You can't, we don't have a compound miter metal cutting bandsaw. So yeah, by the end of the day, it is going to be just bigger and heavier. <laughs> Yay! Aaron, you can make noise now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Well, there it is. It's quite the thing. We got approval from Captain Salvage, so I think we're done. Aaron, do you love it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Man, I think it's rad. It looks like some sort of Manhattan project type like. I mean, it looks like a weapon. It does. Or like uh like a a bomb that hangs from chains underwater for the submarine. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, a depth charge. Yeah. We're gonna take it apart. So, and then deliver it. And it's December. Black Dog's not really gonna be able to chew into it until May. Mm -hmm. So this is how you'll see it for a while. And then whenever it gets powder coated and put together, we will go with them to film it and we'll show it to you guys. Yeah. But that's not gonna be until May. <laughs> yeah. But the good news is we don't have to deal with any of that. We don't have to finish it or transport it. We did the fun metal part and now we're done. And, uh, we can get paid for it, so kind of cool. Worked out. We're gonna take it apart, load it in the truck, take it over to Black Dog's warehouse, and then move on to the next <laughs> yeah. one. Black dog. Going there. Going to the warehouse. Well, they left the keys in the forklift. <laughs> so we're just gonna use that. And there it is. All parts unloaded, delivered to Black Dog. Easy peasy. Aaron's, Aaron's picking. Picking and gritting. Here we go. Dropped off. There it is. See you in May. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Love you guys. Seriously, consider subscribing if you haven't already. We love you guys here. And consider joining our Patreon. Lots of fun things, behind the scenes, early episodes, ad-free, you know the deal. See you around.